Hello iPlanners. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install fonts onto your iPad. The app that I like to use is called AnyFont and I believe the app is free. I've had it for so long I can't remember if it's a free app or not. I know a lot of the font apps will allow you to purchase free or download free and then you can purchase fonts from within the app or you can upload your own fonts to the app which is what I'm going to show you how to do. Now first of all you're going to want to make sure that any fonts that you own are easily accessible on any of your iCloud Drive storages which would be iCloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, just whatever you use. I'm going to use Dropbox today so let's go ahead and open the app. I'm going to tap the plus and if this is the first time you're opening up this app you're going to have to verify or allow the app to access your files in Dropbox or whatever cloud storage that you use. So let me go ahead and tap Dropbox and it's going to open up all the files and folders that I have in Dropbox and I'm going to locate the font that I have stored inside this folder. All right, so this is the font that I want to install. So I'm just gonna tap it and it goes ahead and adds it to your list of fonts. And I believe they're in alphabetical order. There it is. And when you tap it, this window's gonna pop up. You're gonna go ahead and just tap install and then follow the prompts, the instructions in the prompts. All right, so here it's saying that it, it wants to download and I'm gonna allow it. And then it's telling me that I need to go to the profile inside my settings. So I'm gonna have to go to the settings app so I'll close that and it even reminds you of what the settings app icon looks like so you know what it's trying to tell you to do. So I'm going to tap done and I'm going to go to my settings. And my settings were already open a minute ago so I'm going to go ahead and just tap it here. And you want to be in general and go down to profiles. So make sure that general is highlighted and scroll down to profiles. And when you tap Profiles, it's going to show you all the fonts that you already have installed. So as you can see, these have been configured. This is the one that I just downloaded. Okay, so I'm going to tap that one. And now I want to tap Install. And it's going to ask for my iPad password. And then I'm going to come over here and tap next. And then I'm going to tap install again. And then I'm going to tap install again. So as you can see, it's pretty easy, but there's just a lot of tap, lots, a lot of clicking, I guess you could say. All right, so it's installed and I'm going to tap done. And now you can see that it is included here in my configuration profiles. So any fonts that you already have installed will be under here. All right, so now let me open up my Keynote and let's see if that font is in my Keynote now. So let me add some text and I'll zoom in here. I'll just go ahead and type my name. And I double tapped it so that it's completely highlighted. And now I'm going to tap the paintbrush. And you want to make sure that you have text highlighted. And here is the text that you're looking at right now. It's called Gill Sands. And that's not what I want. So now I'm going to go find that font. They're in, in alphabetical order. Mm. And I know that this font is called Cavite uh, Brush. And there it is. So I'll tap it. And there you can see that my text changed to that font. 
And that is all there is to it. I hope all you eye planners have an outstanding day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.